I'm going to check on the feral kittens now. Yesterday, one of them caught me with a claw. Sharp little guys. It was that one, Grumbles. My name is Justin, and I've been feeding my neighborhood alley cats for two years now. It started with a few food dishes on the ground and a few frightened ferals peeking through the fence. I showed up every day and tapped on my water bottle to sound train them of my arrival. After a few weeks, more and more kitties would come running to me in the morning. We're building trust through routine, food, and socialization. I tried to build up positive experiences every day, and over time I began to see their temperament change from hesitation to excitement. They are now so friendly and love to greet me for pets and flops. I've been able to get four of them into a shelter and into forever homes, and I'm currently fostering two more. So that will be six kitties out of the alley. With more and more kitties joining us for breakfast, I decided to build a feral cat feeding station to make feeding and cleaning their bowls easier for me and more interactive for the cats. This feeding station has three levels, provides shelter during rainy weather, keeps the food dishes off the ground, and allows the top shelf ferals a place to interact with us within their safe space. Even some of the truly feral cats have opened up to me. I feed them new low canned food, which seems to be high quality at a decent price. There are about 20 ferals and strays that eat, and I give them about two cans of food every day. Other neighbors leave dry food as well. I also give them flea medication and use a dewormer liquid in their food. During warm weather, I put diatomaceous earth around the feeder. There are a few ways I socialize the ferals. I try to spoon feed the ones that are food motivated and try to slowly increase their exposure to me. Once they trust me enough to eat from a spoon, I begin to try and pet them and touch them while they eat. Routine is extremely powerful in building trust, but cats are heavily influenced by their environment. Now let's go socialize some feral kittens. These kittens have been fixed already, and we're socializing them for a few weeks before we release them to the colony. Hopefully they will stick around and join us at the feeding station in time. They are still very spicy, but after six weeks have made great progress. I started feeding them churus from a spoon taped to a stick after I realized they wouldn't come near me. A churu to the face is one way to build trust. After two weeks, I started feeding them with my finger. I would slide my finger up on the churu tube or spoon close to their face and then replace the treat with my finger. They were okay with it pretty quickly. One week later, I began opening the door and finger feeding them face to face. I'm now working on touching and petting them, which is going pretty slowly. I've definitely been swatted a few times. After I spend 10 minutes with the kittens, I head back to the feeding station to play with the kitties. Raz loves catnip. I bring treats and catnip to the colony once or twice a week. And then clean up Big Fluffy because he gets to be a matted mess without me. We then do daily grooming and socialization and make an occasional Instagram video. He's definitely becoming one of the most friendly ones. I then say goodbye to the kitties and head out Raz follows me part of the way home, and we play along the way. I love hanging out with the friendly kitties who love all the attention. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a few things you can take back to your own colony. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you made it this far, and thanks for loving cats.